with Twitter and my Xbox gamer tag is reckless. So it did come from that. And then Tortuga is a word that I did love. No. So if they were So both. Reckless Tortuga is Lindsay, basically. <laughs> she basically, is, yeah. it's, it's all her. Lindsay and I actually went to school together. Yeah, we were in high school together. Yeah, and Jason and I met through another friend of ours, and then I kind of like brought he us together. He was a Cupid. Yeah. He brought Jason and I together. Yep. Brought these we lovers together. We started dating, yeah. and then we decided to make sweet movies together. Sweet <laughs> <laughs> And now they're married and have a baby. And it's all his fault. And they didn't name it Eric. No. And they didn't, we didn't name it Eric. It was more, we were trying to find a name for our company and everything was taken. So we were Googling all these different combinations yeah. and this one wasn't taken. And we were kind of like, whatever, just take it. We didn't know it was going to become what it is today. And then when but, we started the channel, they're like, okay, cool. They just call it back. Let's just call it back. And it was you like, know, cool, placeholder. But then we were like, whenever we thought of what to change it to, it was like, oh, that's very specific. It's good. Yeah. You know? It was better than anything else we could think of. We tried to think of other things afterwards, but yeah. this kind of stuff. No, <laughs> not at all. Where it came from was for some random reason I knew how to say sing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Spanish. We thought it was funny. And then I was <laughs> on Teenage Mutant Ninja Tortuga. Exactly. I feel like we're all kind of moody. Yeah. I think all, all of us have pretty funny mood swings. Yeah. And we never know like who's gonna show up to a meeting. Is it gonna be Grumpy Jason, Happy Jason? You know, it's funny. We've been doing this for five years. So when we first started we literally probably spent anywhere from 60 to 70 hours a week together. When you spend that much time with somebody, you're bound to see them pissed off, you're bound to see them exhausted, you're bound to see them going through whatever life problem that they're gonna go through. And I think it is kind of a testament that we've been able to stay together through all of that because there's no there's no other two other people that I don't that I spend more time with than yeah. these two people. But also it's like it is what it is. We are just around each other. It's like yeah. Yeah. I mean, usually at their house. But I just <laughs> stroll in and it's like, what? Yeah. What are we doing? Cool, let's do it. So we don't actually fight as much as you'd think. We yeah. don't really have like blowout fights. If we might disagree, we just talk it out and Yeah. No, it, it, we're not like very contentious with each other at all. Yeah. I think we're all very passionate about what we believe and we're all three completely different people and have three different approaches and I think that that kind of lends itself to the content on our channel because it's not just all one person it's it's been banged around and pinballed back and forth to finally arrive at where it is and so. we try bringing other people into into the group but for some reason what we have works but we have been able to expand upon that with like that's how we have a writer's room now with more writers and but bringing in other people on like the business end and like the like <laughs> reckless or two guys like that work it doesn't work it doesn't work because yeah. also people don't realize how much fucking time we spend together they <laughs> don't realize like i want to i think i could do that you're like and how much work it is spend a week talking. yeah spend yeah. a week with us and you're like week. another meeting how long how many meetings do you guys have you're like we meet every day every so day. deal with it yeah. whether it's on the phone whether it's you know in person yeah The Clan basically is a spin-off show of Online Gamer. We, we, we love making Online Gamer, but it is a bit difficult to come up with scenarios for just like one person. And after 63 episodes of that show, we really kind of wanted to bring like, a breathe new life into it. Yeah, and it was a good environment for Aaron because no one really likes him. <laughs> so it's hard to keep him like I guess it's somewhat believable that he's in this relationship with this insane gamer girl. But besides her, we are like, shit, we don't have any other characters who can stay with this guy. So creating a clan was a great way for him to be with other people who <laughs> don't change every episode. <laughs> and stay around, you yeah. know? And they're not alike. They don't get along all the time. Yeah. But they, they're but they they're forced together. Goal. Yeah, they're forced yeah. together and joined together by the common goal of trying to be the best. You know what's funny? Think of it until mm -hmm. after it was older. Okay, yeah, so I was getting this location <laughs> and I, this girl, we were going to use her house and I was like, cool, so it's great. It's for the series called The Clan. And she was like, great, yeah, totally. All right, I'm totally fine with that. And then she freaked out. 
the night before and was like, I was just talking to my husband. Is this about the Ku Klux Klan? Oh my god! She was like, I just need to make sure you guys aren't burning crosses on my lawn. I was like, no. And why didn't you ask me that when I told you? <laughs> like, what it was? I was like, no, it's about this. And she was like, oh, okay. I just, I just was freaking out for a second. So that could be something that people actually think. I never thought of that until she brought it up. That's what it is. That's what it is in, in gaming and authenticity is a, is kind of important to us so it wasn't going to be like the group or the yeah. friends the or something the gaming clan the, the gaming, gaming clan, clan. Yeah, like batch of gamers the clan, clan. It just it, the clan we've had a great experience with them we've been we've been with them for 3 years now and um yeah, it's, it's been a wonderful experience. yeah it's been the reason why we got to quit our day jobs and do it full time and they're good to us i mean whenever we call them on the phone they pick up they answer they handle all of our problems and yeah, I mean it's been a it's been a, a great relationship. They've we've been able to do a lot of things that I don't think we would have had that opportunity had we not been with Machinima. Yeah, like the clan even. Yeah, the clan I mean is entirely from Machinima. Like we weren't signed with anyone or even looking for it. And mm -hmm. when Machinima came along, we were pretty particular on what we wanted and they facilitated that and they gave us the support. Because we were very, we were like, we want this kind of support and this kind of support. We don't need that, we don't need that, because we're different than other YouTubers or production companies online, like we had very specific needs and they they fulfilled it and they continue helping us, which is great. I think these two do. I, I sit behind the camera, so I don't really get it as much, but Eric, like we'll be shooting out on the street and people will like literally honk their horn and scream, oh my gamer! The Southland story is my favorite story though, about the record. Oh, story. yeah, but that was the first time ever that I got recognized <laughs> and that was awesome. Because I was on set of Southland, I was, like the second episode, I was just like a bit roll. And I was on the ground and they were in between takes and everyone left the set. So it was empty. And we were on a, we were in a, a convenience store and this kid comes in. He's like, holy shit, are you from Reckless Tortuga? And I was like, yeah, I am. I mean, you're on the set of a TV show, but yeah, I am from Reckless Tortuga. And he's like, oh, so cool, man. And he leaves in the sky and sees me like, what the fuck is a Reckless Tortuga? I was like, don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> And I called everyone. <laughs> he called me literally at work, and he's like, "Dude, Every I just person. got recognized." I'm like, "Holy shit, you're shooting a TV and show!" I was loud. So yeah. that sound guy like heard my story like 80 million times. I'm like, so mom, guess what happened? Hey, no big deal. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. I love it. I love it when when people come up and are like, our fans. It's good because sometimes we get detached from. It just becomes numbers, you know, like just numbers of people watching our stuff. And when people come and, and tell you that, you're like, ah, oh, okay. These are actually people. These aren't just numbers. Numbers. Yeah, numbers. I think YouTube is the only medium in which people in their basement are making stuff, something that is being viewed by the entire world. You know, like I think when you do a television show and there's billboards and TV commercials and interviews and this, that, and the other, and it's, you're kind of inundated with promotion of a television show you understand when people come up to those people and they're like oh my god you're on a TV show but for us we do this in my garage so it's odd when people come up and they're like oh my god reckless or too good like it almost is surreal because you, you you do kind of don't think about it in that sense you don't always think about it from the viewers perspective When we first got on YouTube, there was really not that many people doing narrative on YouTube. It was it was a lot of video bloggers, it was a lot of cat videos, it was a lot of like, I, look what I shot on my flip cam. And, and we kind of had this approach to scripted content and like trying to do scripted content from the beginning and, and make it work on YouTube. And now it feels like everybody's doing that. You know what I mean? It feels like that's the, the new thing is like just everybody has a web series, there's, uh, there's uh, you know, a ton of scripted content out there, which is really cool for us. but. Everything can change, you know? I don't, this space changes on like a three month cycle, it seems. Like every three months, there's always something kind of new and different and, yeah. you know? So I, I, I actually don't know where the web series world goes. I mean, it feels like more and more <clears throat> things are going to the web and, the, and that eventually they're gonna kind of merge in some way, but I don't know, it's hard to say. What I hope is that the, there actually starts to become some sort of focus on quality because you watch these 10 minute episodes from some of these web series and you're like, Jesus, this is so long for a mediocre storytelling, you know? 
Because when you're watching, if I'm going to invest over three minutes into something, I want it to be good. Like I can give three minutes to I can give three minutes to almost anything. I'm watching a cat sleep, you know, doing whatever. <laughs> but if it's more than that, that's what I hope. Is I hope, and that's what's great about money and funded content. And one of the exciting things about the clan, you know, is getting opportunities to create higher quality content. You know, to bring the quality of the space up. I think that's what the future is. Yeah, but at the same time, I see like certain changes in like the YouTube space and, and, and how that shifts and becomes harder and harder to launch a narrative show. Oh, yeah. You know, like y you do have a lot of investment coming into web series and that's great. But when we first started, our videos would have almost a five to seven day lifespan in the subscriber box. Um, two years later, maybe a three day window. As of today, I would say we have 12 hours, <laughs> you know what I mean, in, a, in someone's feed. Which for a narrative show, which has a lot of investment in time and, and resources and so on and so forth, um, it's hard to compete with someone who can pump out two videos a day or even gameplay. Like if you look at the explosion of gamers online right now, um, it's 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 content that I, that they can just pump out. They can pump that content out, and I can't compete as a scripted channel. I can't compete with a gaming channel. And you, so you look at the, the rise of those those gamers and you go, yeah, that, that the system is kind of set up for them and, and it's in their favor to some extent, especially on YouTube. Yeah, it's also a new form of entertainment. And it's also a new yeah. form of entertainment and it's great. And I, I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not hating on the gamers at all. I love, I love their stuff and we have a gaming channel as well. But I would say like where there's money coming into web series, there's also platform changes that are working against it, you know? And so that's why I mean I don't I don't know what's going to happen. I would hope that, like Eric was saying, quality raises with investment, and and they figure out a way to kind of surface this this kind of great content that, and this this kind of independent filmmaker revolution that's happening online. Yeah. But you kind of feel like people people like will weed out the quality stuff. You know, like people will pass that around and people will point to that, and that's really I feel like what you can fall back on is if you're like, ugh. I have to become better. <laughs> yeah, and that's the truth. Yeah. And I mean, at the end of the day, like, the good stuff rises to the top, the bad stuff kind of falls. I think it would be like an event planner, maybe like a, or a wedding planner, or something like that. What? I know it's I've so never random, heard that. but I was going to go to school at a scholarship to go to school to do kind of event planning. Not event scholarship? planning. But it was going to be like. I had an event planning <laughs> scholarship, guys. How do you get that community, scholarship? Community college? It wasn't. Um, but I was gonna go into like business management, advertising, something like that. Because okay. I think I would have gone more in that direction. I like that kind of thing. Yeah. I think I'd be a police officer or <laughs> what? The fuck you a teacher. About? What? What's a wrong? police officer? Yeah. You want to like patrol the streets? Fuck yes. Okay. With a gun police? and like yes. eating donuts and like yes, I'd be a. I think about this all the time. I'd be a police officer or a teacher, for sure. That's cool. That's amazing. I mean, if I wasn't able I to do anything like this, this arts, yeah. if I wasn't able to do any sort of filmmaking, I don't think I, I, don't, I wouldn't be a painter or anything. Yeah, I'd, I'd be a police officer or a teacher. I have the worst boring, most boring answer. I'd probably work computers, because that's what I did. That's not boring. To like, make money while I was trying to support my filmmaking career. Mm -hmm. Like a graphic designer? No, no, no. Like literally probably like, like building. An like an like IT guy. here's your fucking computer. That makes like sense with the blue though. shirt on. You love that shit. Oh, you'd yeah. be like the Apple. Yeah, I'd be like a fucking Did you work at an bar. Apple store? <laughs> <laughs> probably. So thanks guys so much for watching our interview. Um, make sure you, you like watch. it. To watch. Favorite. No, like oh, okay, it. Okay, okay, this sorry, like order. Order. okay. Okay. Or do we like start over? No, we don't need to okay. start over. So you can read the written version on the on website. NewMediaRockstars.com. With our, you can see our photo shoot we too. A, we did pretty sweet photo shoots. Yeah. Naked stuff, but. Um, <laughs> no, naked stuff, naked. Uh, and also like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Right. The holy, You know trinity. what to do, so you're on YouTube. Trinity. Yeah, that, Share that stuff. The quadrinity. Quadrinity, is that what it is? I what is know, it? I made that word up. Quadrilogy? Copyrighted trademark. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>